Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritika and today we are diving into the world of AWS Redshift. And if you remember, I have used this word in my last video. If you haven't checked out my video, how to build serverless data warehouse, go and check out after this video. So in that I have mentioned AWS Redshift, which is used for creating data warehouse and, and getting the turbocharged data analysis. The cloud data warehouse is built for speed and scale and that we will achieve with AWS Redshift. So what is Redshift? AWS Redshift is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehouse which runs on AWS Cloud. It is designed to handle massive data sets and large queries with blazing fast performance. So let's get into the key features of AWS Redshift. It uses the columnar storage. We have already used the SQL database so we can easily understand it as it is a relational database and it is based on PostgreSQL database engine type but it is not used for online transaction workload. So next is our massive parallel processing, MPP. So the queries are distributed among the multiple nodes for lightning fast results. So next is our data compression. In, in this, the data is compressed up to 10x, which is, oh my God, this is too much which reduces the storage cost and improves the performance. And it is seamlessly integrated with other AWS services like Glue, S3, and QuickSight. I've already made a video on S3. If you haven't checked out that, go and check out after this video. I'll put that link in the description below or somewhere here on the top. You can go and check out. In that video, I have explained how to create S3 buckets, step by step. So now let's walk through the steps of creating the Redshift cluster and loading data. So first we need to choose the size and the configuration of our cluster based on our data needs. And then we have to import the data from various sources like S3 database or external data feeds. And lastly, we have to use SQL to query our data and cover the valuable insights. So now bring your data to life with stunning visualization using tools like Amazon QuickSight. So, so now I will give you a demo on AWS Redshift. So we'll go and click on try Redshift serverless free trial and then we'll select. We can see it gives us use default settings or customized settings. We'll select the customized setting and in the namespace we need to give a unique name. So I'll give my Redshift data then we'll go down as we as you can see in the permissions it says associate an IAM role so that your serverless endpoint can load and unload data you can use AWS related services such as Amazon S3 cloud watch logs SageMaker and AWS glue so now you'll associate an IAM role if you haven't created any IAM role so you can create a default so you can just click on create IAM role as default and if you have any used already for S3 bucket you can select that so it will attach a IAM role and then we'll scroll down and go for security encryption will and in security and encryption if you click on customize encryption settings advanced you need to KMS console you need to create a key key type for your database so you select asymmetric or symmetric whichever you want and for that you need to give an alias now so I'll give here I'll give my redshift key and we'll leave the description click on next and we'll click on my name as it says key administration choose an IAM role so we'll choose the IAM role just we have just created then click on next and key users so I'll click click on mine and then click on next and if you want to add another account you can do that also and here you can see the key policy it is mentioned you so in that key policy ID is key console policy and it is now created and attached to our 
we'll go back to our main redshift and we'll attach our key then we'll scroll down scroll down in network and securities we'll select our vpc and we'll move on we'll click then we'll select our security group so the this is the security group which i have created in my previous videos and the vpc which i have created so i have selected that and we need to select the subnet oh i i missed that we need to select our subnets then click on save configurations so now it will take time to create and get ready for our use so i'll stop my video and we'll come back when it's done so as you can see here our serverless dashboard is created now under the rest shift and you can see under the namespace it says my redshift data oh, status is available work group is default so this was the demo of redshift redshift is powering analytics for businesses of all size across industries like e-commerce health finance and more and this gives a lot of benefits to the companies like query massive data sets in seconds and easily scale up and down to meet the changing needs pay as you go pricing with no upfront cost and AWS handle all infrastructure management. So are you ready to experience the power of Redshift for yourself and sign up for the trial today as I have put the link in the description below and start exploring your data like never before. If you like this video, don't forget to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit on notification bell for more AWS insights and and if you haven't checked out my previous video on how to create serverless data warehouse, go and check out over here.